We would like to have a new component on our page where we could manually pick which blocks we want to feature. So we will start with creating a new story block component. We could call it featured blocks section and it will have two fields. One for the title with text type and one for the featured blocks with multi options type. We will set the field source to stories. Then we will specify the path to our block folder and we will also restrict the selection to only block page. Now let's create the same component in our code base. This component needs to have the same name as the story block counterpart. We will add temporarily a simple text to the component just to see if it renders correctly. So now when we add our new component to our landing page we will see our temporary text. Now we will fill in the title and pick out the blocks which we want to feature. Now we will map the storybook fields in our code. We will start with the title. And now let's see what kind of data do we get from the featured blocks field. As you can see we are provided by an array of story IDs. But instead of them it would be better to have the block content. Now let's switch to the draft JSON. Just notice the featured blocks field. These stories can be resolved by adding a param to the API call and it's called resolve relations. For this param to work, we need to specify what exactly do we want to resolve. In our case, we want to resolve the component featured block section and its field, the featured box. The way to write this is component name dot component field. So we will write featured block section dot featured underscore blocks. And now as you can see instead of the IDs we have the content of the blocks. To have this work in our application we need to do the same thing in our code base. So let's add the resolve relations param into our storyblock.get function. With this change done you can see that the stories are already resolved. So now we will create a simple thumbnail with the link, image and the name of the blog. Now we have our block thumbnails. But we have one problem left. Upon reordering the featured blocks, the left side preview doesn't update. Instead of the thumbnails we see only a blank page. To solve this issue we need to add the resolve relations param to the story block bridge as well. Now as we are reordering the left side preview updates correctly as well. With this the functionality is completed. We already prepared the nicer styling for this template so we will now replace it. With this last step our featured block section is finished.